hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time that i upload girl because youtube be playing on the upload tip so you need to be notified but yeah i'm doing a review slash wear test slash first impressions on the maybelline superstay foundation everybody has been talking so i definitely have to go and pick it up so we are gonna get right into the video okay you guys so my face is bare right now i just have my moisturizer and i did go ahead and do my brows i'm not done with them so they might look a little crazy first impressions slash review and i'm gonna try to wear this until like nine o'clock it is almost two o'clock now so we're gonna try to do a little wear test this is the maybelline superstay 24 hour foundation to try this foundation because people have been raving about this foundation so we're gonna see what it's about today um i'm gonna put a little screen record on the shade range there's 16 shades it could be better um the maybelline fit me i believe they have about 40 shades now that shade range is bomb like they have from the lightest to the light to the darkest melanin brown baddie so yeah hopefully they have more shades we've seen worse but you know it definitely could be better there's always room for improvement so i got the shade warm sun so in the maybelline fit me i'm 330 toffee caramel in the winter time and i am 335 classic tan in the summertime um warm sun is 334 and toffee was before this and it looked a little bit lighter than it does for the maybelline fit me so for me i'd rather go darker with my foundation than lighter um, because I can always balance it out with highlighting and contouring. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Fenty Beauty Primer. I do not ever not wear primer. So, I don't see the point of me doing like a test with me not priming my face. And I will leave my other foundation shades down below. Um, of foundations that I wear so you guys can do like a little comparison. Oh, I love that this foundation has a pump like drugstore you better come through with a pump. So what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna color correct just because I want to see how full of coverage we can get. So on my left side I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush and on my right side I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Body Blender. This is my favorite. So I'll just start off with the brush on this side I do have dark circles under my eyes and hyperpigmentation around my mouth, so we're going to see if that covers it up. So the texture of this off top is definitely thicker than the Fit Me foundation. So it's super matte, like off top, this is hella matte. Like this is super, super matte. Okay y'all, so I got half of my face done. This is one layer of the foundation and as you guys can see this foundation is matte there is zero radiance there none of that like she is matte so what i think i'm gonna have to do is mix this with an oil because it's just super matte and my skin is dry it's clinging to a dry patch and i did i did a face mask last night and i exfoliated but it does look like is clinging to this dry patch on my nose area. This looks really yellow on camera. It looks really yellow on my camera. It does not look that yellow in person. So this is definitely like on the golden side. So I might have to try toffee. I feel like this will work really good though in summertime. So yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to see if it looks any different, I'm gonna get my Josie Marin Argan Oil and mix in a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it in with my sponge on, on the back of my hand. 
So y'all can see, like the texture isn't super thick, but it's not super loose either. So I got my Josie Marin Light Argan Oil, and I'm gonna just put a couple of drops in here, not too much. If you have dry skin and like your foundation is too matte, this is a great tip. So I would definitely suggest doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my body blender and blend this out. And usually I do go over my eyes, but I had already primed them. Okay guys, so I hope y'all can really see what this is looking like in my mirror. This side with the oil mix and blending out with my sponge looks a lot better, like I look more awake. This side is super matte and it's kind of making me look really flat. My hyperpigmentation is peeking through more on the side with my sponge versus the side with the brush. So I'm going to just take my brush and take a little bit of the mixture and try to see if I can go over it. Yeah, that covered it up pretty good. So I could skip out on color correcting if I wanted to. And I mean, it's looking pretty good up under my eyes as well. So I'm gonna take my brush and see if I like how it looks with mixed with oil with my brush. Okay, so I feel like that looks a lot better. And as far as blending goes, I honestly enjoy blending this both with my brush and my sponge. So it would just be based off of your preference. I know some people just don't like brushes at all, which is fine. So I'm gonna see if we can just layer this up a little bit because if y'all can see right here, my mole is still showing. Um, and I have some moles over here that are still showing. So I'm gonna see if we can cover those up. So I'm going to put a pump and a half on the back of my hand and I put two drops of oil in the foundation and I'm just patting this into my skin I'm not like buffing it I don't like buffing the foundation I feel like you get fuller coverage just patting it in looking like I definitely feel like I need toffee to mix in with this because it is definitely super 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 golden tone is more on like the neutral side so overall I'm liking the finish of it with mixed with the oil and like I said my hyperpigmentation is definitely covered so I'm gonna go ahead and do this anti-Valentine's Day look that I'm gonna do for you guys and then I'll be back. Okay y'all, so I just finished doing my makeup. I did this anti-Valentine's Day makeup look and right now it is 3.11. So as you can see, it is 3.11 right now. So um, try to leave it on until like 9, 10 o'clock. That'll be about six, seven hours because um, this foundation claims to be 24 hours but I'm not leaving this on my face for 24 hours. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come in and check in with you guys. I'll probably come back um, in about two hours to do the first check-in. And right now, the foundation looks amazing. Like, I really, really love how it looks right now. Mixing it with the oil saved it because I know my face probably would have been feeling super cakey and super dry right now. But like I said, so far, so good. I'm loving this. So I will be back in about two hours. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Yes, with the whole wig change. But yeah, you guys, um, if you want to see this wig video, this video should actually be up. The, the hair video and the rest of my makeup should already be up. Now, it is 5.15, so I've had this on for about two hours. And I will zoom my camera in so you guys can see. But like I said in the beginning, I thought that this was my shade. Um, I thought it was workable. It looks good in my mirror, but when I go into natural lighting, like in real life, girl, I look orange. I will insert pictures. Orange. Like, that, no. 
it, mm -mm, it's a no. So I'm gonna have to take it back and go and get toffee. And I'm thinking I'm gonna just get toffee because mixing this in, I'm a little scared to do that. So I did get this foundation for $10 at Myers. It's $10 at Walmart and Target as well. It is $11.99 at Ulta. Let's see what my skin is looking like. I'm still liking how the foundation is looking. I do see like around my mouth a little bit. It's starting to, like my dark spots are starting to peek through. I don't really have any complaints. My skin does not feel cakey. It's not, I feel like I have nothing on, honestly, um, besides my lipstick. My face feels like I am makeup free, so I do love that. Okay, so it is now 9.28. So it's pretty much 9.30, about to be 10 o'clock. And this is what the foundation is looking like. I have run off for two hours of sleep, y'all. So excuse me if I'm a little bit low energy right now. But I am tired. I'm ready to take this makeup off and go to bed. If y'all can see on camera, I'm probably going to zoom in so y'all can see though. It is starting to separate around my mouth area. And that's pretty weird because that never really happens to me. I still don't feel like I have anything on my face, which is good. The only thing that I'm noticing is the separation around my mouth area. That's pretty much it and yeah. like if it's super super light um it does transfer a little bit i don't even know if there's gonna pick up on camera the nose Trans area is a tad bit cakey like a tad bit and like i said i did exfoliate but my nose is like the driest part of my face that my forehead the size of my nose it just looks a tad bit oily i mean overall it still looks pretty good in my opinion but like I said, you guys, in real life, this foundation is a tad bit orange. My lights are like even and everything out on my receipt from the foundation. I'm going to take this back to Myers and exchange it for toffee. And then I will do an updated version of this. And we will compare the footage side by side and which shade looks better. But I already know this is not going to work maybe into the summertime. Okay, so if you want to see what I use on the rest of my face, just go ahead and click the little card over here or check my description box. I'm gonna give the foundation like a three out of five. I'm taking one point away for the shade range because I feel like it could be better, um, especially seeing that the Maybelline Fit Me line has a ton of shades and this one only has 16 shades. I feel like Maybelline, you know, they could have they could have came harder for the launch of this foundation. Second star, um, I mean the separation because like I said, that never happens to me. So this is a first for a foundation separating around separating around my mouth. So that's what the two stars are for. Now that I did mix this with an oil. If I didn't mix this with an oil, I probably wouldn't have made it through the video because it was just like super matte. And y'all know I wear matte foundations, but this was like not gonna work for my skin. And I'm going through like a really dry patch right now, so it just wasn't gonna work. So yeah, the foundation is looking like Let me get up close so y'all can see. Highlights still popping, you know, or my mouth. I'm not really feeling that. But yeah, like I said, other than that, held up pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna try toffee and come back with an update for you guys. Alright, you guys. I got the V V S I C E O O. Feel like a cool juice. Blame it on my jewel. I got stones on my.